welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Star Wars Black Series Walmart exclusive Imperial Crosshairs. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. If that's your sort of thing, then make sure you're hitting that bell icon so you stay notified when I do upload new videos. And if you do enjoy this video or any other content that I put out, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow and it's free and easy for you to do. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It is a very small goal of mine. Try to reach at least one new subscriber per new video that I put out. So please be my new subscriber for this video. Thank you so much in advance. With all that out of the way, guys, once again, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Imperial Crosshairs. Now, this thing is unfortunately a Walmart exclusive, guys. So if you're going to want acquire this guy and add him to your collection you're gonna have to check walmart and walmart.com unfortunately i was one of the lucky few to be able to get him when he first went on pre-order i did miss out on the rex figure though so you win some you lose some but i was able to acquire not only this guy but also the imperial shock trooper so two out of three isn't bad i wasn't too keen on getting ramparts so I don't really consider him part of the the you know ones that I wanted, so that's why I said two out of three instead of uh, two out of four. Um, so, like I said, two out of three is not so bad. Now this guy is bad fucking ass, guys. Now I have to admit, um, this guy is definitely a cool figure. So this guy is is he's basically the same figure we've already gone just all blacked out and everything and honestly with a new helmet sculpt but the all black look with the green accents in the helmet does add a lot of great accents and you know dark features to this figure it really makes him look like he's turned to the evil side to the empire and um you know i just I've fallen in love with this figure as soon as I brought him out of the packaging. I'll be honest, he is just such a great figure. I'm having so much fun taking pics of him, and I cannot wait to not only just use him for Star Wars pics, but also crossover pics because he is just such a cool figure. I just want to use him for all sorts of stuff. Uh, but yeah, guys, this guy is super cool. Real quick before we actually do anything else, I do want to pull forward the original crosshairs that we got so that you can take a look and see the difference in the armor and the uniform so as you can see it is the same armor that we've gone with crosshairs just all painted black minus this little bandolier here they cut that off from the belt and they did change up the helmet sculpt as you can see and of course the color so i do prefer the new one over this classic crosshairs a lot more i have to admit this one is cool but this one is just better so i mean it's nice having the classic just to complete the original bad batch lineup but having this guy right here this guy i don't know what it is about him he is just so bad fucking ass that i can't get over how great this guy is so anyways guys with that being said let's go ahead and pull him forward to Whoops, sorry guys. Let's go ahead and pull him forward so we can take a nice closer look at him. So like I said, the helmet is a new sculpt. It's not the same one that we've gotten with the previous version of Crosshairs. But the rest of him is the same, even down to the forearm piece right here, which is technically Hunter's forearm because that's where the slot would be. Or um, that's where the... That's where the knife holster pegs into hunter's wrist so as you can see there's reuse there the backpack does hold the sniper rifle much like the first version and of course you know he whoops and of course you do get the holster right here so everything else besides the helmet is the same with this figure so nothing new to expect but like i said just this new helmet sculpt alone is great now the great thing about these bad batch figures is the helmet's are removable so we can go ahead and remove crosshairs helmet oh before we do that you will notice that the visor is articulated right there much like the first version but going ahead and pulling the helmet off we will see we have crosshairs again and i'm pretty sure this is just the same head sculpt that they used in the original one and they just popped it on this guy because it looks 100 percent identical uh just to be safe and in case you guys are curious i'll go ahead and pull this guy forward let me see if i can get his helmet off so yeah it's it's essentially the same figure maybe with just a little better uh skin tone paint but 
other than that it's the same figure or the same head sculpt for this figure as the original release so it is nicely done and it does look very well it has tr been translated very nicely to this photo reel uh, the thing about the animated figures is they can either translate very well or very poorly much like tech tech was not a figure that translated very well uh, with from that animated to real life look whereas crosshairs right here he definitely did and he looks menacing so with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at all the accessories that this guy comes with he of course comes with his removable imperial crosshairs helmet right there and as i said the visor is articulated right there so here's a nice closer look at it here's a look at the side at the back up let's see if crosshairs will stand look at the visor side and once again at the front he does come with his sniper rifle which does get stored in the backpack right there. Very nice and easy. Whoops. Let's see if we can get some crosshairs to stand real quick. Let's see, right? There. So, once again, we do get the sniper rifle in two pieces, and we can just... Whoops. Turn this the other way. Connect it right there. And there you go. Snaps right in, and you have the full rifle right there. The other weapon he does come with is the typical clone handgun blaster, which I just dropped, but here it is right here. And unlike most of the clones that come with this nowadays, he does actually get a holster for it right here. Hunter comes with one, and he has nowhere to put it. I wish he even had somewhere just on his backpack to store it, but he unfortunately does not. But once again, you do get this nice backpack with crosshairs it is removable as you can see there's the peg there's the peg hole goes right back in right there it has some nice little uh paint accents from red some blues right there for the buns other than that just all black all around so yeah guys like i said just a really cool figure it is the same exact one we've gone uh minus you know the brand new helmet right here so with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation he can look all the way to the right all the way to the left he can look pretty far up which is nice he can basically touch his chin to his chest he has some real good head mobility with some wobble swabble wobble uh, all that good stuff right there and he does have neck rotation and movement right there his arms do go all the way out to a t-pose and 360 rotation just make sure you hold on to the armor piece so that it rotates with it but you don't want to rotate it too much and too fast because it is being held on by this little plastic piece right there so you got to be super careful single hinge elbow joints that are pinless and rotate at the elbow right there but uh, you do get some decent articulation but not the best in my opinion uh, rotation at the wrist as well as hinging in and out right there and hinging up and down on the main trigger finger hand you do get rotation at the upper abdomen right there he ab crunches that far down that far back no rotation at the mid or at the bottom waist he can not join the cheerleading squad he can almost do full splits but not quite his armor piece does get in the way but it is a soft plastic so it does move out of the way somewhat he does have a thigh swivel at the top and in the boot or in the armor piece right here it's a slight one but it is there you do get a single hinge knee joint which rotates at the knee right there it goes to 90 degrees and for his ankle articulation they go that far down that far up and of course a ball rocker hinge joint at the bottom so that is a nice look at the brand new walmart exclusive imperial crosshairs figure guys by the way if you do enjoy toy news join me every sunday morning for coffee and toys a weekly toy news toy talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news reveals pre-orders and so much more but with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that i took of this guy and we'll be right back
Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited pics called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out if you like what you see. Let me a follow there as well. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of this figure or any other figures I do reviews on for this channel, go ahead and follow me over on TikTok at Cool Figures because that's where I do all my unboxings. So check me out at Cool Figures. And join me every Sunday morning for Coffee and Toys, a weekly toy news toy talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news, reveals, pre-orders, and so much more. And thank you so much to this channel sponsor, V-Rare Store. Check them out for all your Funko Pop anime Pokemon card needs. And of course, use code Cool Figures at checkout for 10% off your order viewer store check them out guys so with that being said if you did enjoy this video please remember to give it a thumbs up it really helps the channel grow if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button but whether or not you're a subscriber thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys i really do appreciate it as always i'm your host jesse the bat magical aka the buff collector and i'll talk to you guys in the next video